Hey everybody, today I'm showing you the Moyu Cube Robot. This is a robotic Rubik's Cube solver and it doesn't even need an app. Unlike other models that I've covered, this one actually can do it without using an app. You just have to bring your compatible cube. There are 12 of them that are supported. You just have to be able to change the center cap. Let's see what's inside. It's a very neatly packaged item. This is your robot. You have the lock-in mechanism like the GAN robot. The only difference is this one is not as fast as the GAN robot that solves puzzles in five seconds but it does get the job done and it doesn't require an app to do it. So that's a big plus for me. It also has a button that lets you do it, use it continuously. So you can display it on your desk and have it solve, the scramble of solve, so on and so forth on your desk. So this is everything that's included. You get your cable, it's a type C cable. I like the fact that this came with a cube so I didn't have to buy it, but there's a list of 12 of them available that you can buy. They're not even expensive. They don't have to be an AI cube. This is an AI cube. So that's a big plus for me. For some of these robots, you need an, a smart cube plus the robot, and then you have to use an app. You do get this. Just they explain the caps that you need. These are the center caps. So you are going to need something like this to make sure that you can use it for certain cubes. This is where the robot arm actually grabs. So this is the robot. This is the locking mechanism. You unlock and you lock. For the lock position, you need to be in the middle. That way the robot doesn't move as if you unlock it. You can see I can move it. If you want the robot to work fine, you need to make sure that it's in the middle position. This cube robot has four buttons, power, solve, scramble, and this is continuous solving and scrambling. That's why it has the infinity sign here on it. Just have to connect your USB-C cable here. This is a normal cube. It's not as smart as far as I can tell. You can buy other cheap ones that you can change the center cap for them. The key to using this is make sure that the colors line up. So the red side goes here, the blue side goes here. It's not just the top that needs to be lined up, also the bottom, you wanna make sure that it's locked. Now I'm ready to turn it on. It's now turned on and you can tell from the light. Now let's scramble it. And now let's solve it. There's always a pause until it figures out the next moves. So it's working here. And that's it. You don't have to use the machine to uh, scramble it. You can do it yourself as long as you set it up correctly. So I'm gonna do it right now and let's see. I'm just gonna change this a little bit. Let's see if we can solve this. Again, the same concept applies. You have to make sure the red side lines up with the left there, the blue, and all the colors basically have to be the same. So the machine understands what the configuration is and then it solves it.
there is supposed to be an app for this as well. I downloaded it and I language I couldn't turn it to English. I could go and I think I got to a point that you're supposed to sign up for an account and then I stopped there because you really, really don't need the app. It'd be nice to have that, but at the same time, I don't understand what the point is because this robot actually solves it without an app. So I didn't bother at that point. Very simple design. You also have the infinite shuffle. So let's try that. Just put this on your desk and have it solved and scramble and solve. This is the first one. It's gonna go through other cycle again. Everything works as it should. Very simple. I don't even have to know anything about Rubik's Cube to get this done. Obviously, if you know more, if you can solve it on your own, that's a huge plus. If you have, if you, if you want to use a different kind of cube, as long as you can change the center cap and use the ones that are provided in the package, you should be able to try it. I've tried only this one. I'm, there are 12 other ones that are mentioned that you can try. And a lot of them are actually pretty cheap, so you may want to check them out. For more information, please go to gadgetify.com, also youtube.com at gadgetify. Thanks for watching.